Hello, hello, hello! This is Miguel and welcome to another Speed Build! Uh, you might have been wondering why I introduced myself as Miguel today instead of Mikey. Uh, it's just because my uh, friends have been calling me uh, Miguel since they met me on Twitch and um, I basically got used to it and I, I'm really enjoying uh, being called by my own name instead of my nickname, I don't really mind, actually I really like it. So from now on I will be Miguel, but if you want to call me Mikey on the comment section below, be my guest, I don't really mind. But yeah, this is going to be the following introduction for the further videos on the channel, okay? Um, so, this time I bring you another speed build, like always, and I must say that I was actually... I was surprised that I edited this video so quick, because this is not a small build like the lighthouse that I uploaded last week, uh, but I was actually counting on only uh, uploading one video every two weeks, but I guess I'm getting faster editing videos because I must tell you this is one of those builds that I... Uh, my footage without being speed up was 12 hours, so I don't even know how I did this. I must say that uh, um, some, uh, I guess... Um, the edition can be a little bit sloppy because I was trying to be really quick, but I guess I show you the most important parts of the build. Uh, this was actually a build that I did not plan to do. I never thought about doing a bed and breakfast, as you can tell by the title, always. My titles are always super self-explanatory. Um, and I was not actually going to um, a bed and breakfast build. I was actually starting to build a mansion, but it didn't. Uh, it was not going the way I wanted to. So I decided to bulldoze it. Um, and then I was like, uh, okay, I don't like this. Let's try something else. You know, sometimes it's really good if you don't like something uh, that you're doing, the outcome of that something in this case of a building or any other creative um, creative work you do, uh, sometimes it's good to start, to start from scratch, okay? And I was like, what should I do? And then I remembered I that I have um, a folder on my computer with full of house references. And I had this one for quite a while, a while and um, I decided that I would give it a shot. At the first time I was not really into it because I guess, I don't know if I already said this, I'm pretty sure I did because I kind of keep repeating myself during the voiceovers um, and I don't really like, it's okay, it's self-taste, please don't get me wrong, it's what I don't like to build because I really like to see other builds that are squared, okay? I just think that I don't have... I don't have that talent. I'm not really good. I just think that I'm not really good 
doing uh, squared builds. But I guess this one turned out to be really cool and I really like the upcoming. The final result I was not hoping at all because when I start I was... I, I must say that I was a little bit frustrated about not being able to build uh, the mansion. Uh, so I was like, okay, let's do just something because yeah, I was streaming. I did not want wanted to end the stream because I was getting a uh, creative stuck. I was stuck. Uh, my creativity was stuck, and yeah. So I start building here. I start doing other stuff over there, and it ended up like this. I decided to use an orange color for, for the outside because, I don't know, I just felt orange for this build, <laughs> okay? So, like I said, this is a bed and breakfast, and this is actually one of those old builds. Uh, it's it, it, This was built when Laundry Day um, was released, so don't expect any seasons objects in this build. It has everything until Laundry Day, like the last one. And I must say that I, by this time, pets uh, had been released for quite a, a few months and I was like dying to have a build that I could use all of the pet content or almost everything that came with it. Because most of them are rustic objects and I'm a sucker for rustic stuff. Rustic, vintage, gothic, Victorian, um, I'm all of those stuff. They are really on my taste library, if you want to call it that, a taste library. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy. And like you know, I, I think I've been not doing that for a couple of videos, but I really like to create a backstory for each of my builds. And that gives me inspiration because I kind of, um, I kind of, imagine what is happening on the build and that really helps me uh, choosing the furniture, the wallpapers, the floor tiling um, and yeah so the backstory, the background story for this build is about um, Aunt Judy's okay uh, it's her name uh, she's the proper she's the owner of this bed, bed and for, be breakfast and Aunt Judy um, at this big country house. I don't know if I can call it a mansion, but this big country house and she used to live with uh, her family over here and so she was used to big family gatherings during Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, some uh, uh, relatives, uh, anniversaries, birthday parties. Um, so as you know, life goes on and people grow up and they get busy with their own lives. So Aunt Judy, it's not like she was abandoned by her family, okay? It's not supposed to be a tragic story. A little bit sad, it has a little bit of sadness in it, but not tragic. Because she, I assure you that Aunt Judy still gets uh, her relatives visits. Okay, uh, and since she started to be a little bit lonely, uh, she's a widow, at least I want to think of her like that, she decided to turn his big mansion, his big country house, which was really big only for herself, and she decided to turn into a business, uh, a bed and breakfast, so she could have a lot of people around her, so she could have a lot of movement happening in the house, so she the, wouldn't feel lonely. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of a, a sad story, but this is what I like to think about it. And uh, this is actually a venue, uh, I turned this into um, to a restaurant, be free to turn in anything you want. I also have a, a bar, a cafe stall on the up floor, so I think it won't work automatically uh, since this is a, a restaurant, but you can hire the employee, as you might know. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much that. I went with uh, some really rustic, uh, granny-styled objects quotes on that. 
and I really like how this turned out. This looks uh, the main the main uh, goal of this furnishing was to make it look cozy and to look like and you know warmer colors like browns um, they do give uh, a, um, a cozy feeling. I don't know, like in Starbucks, they usually use those kind of colors to their uh, decorations, so people feel comfy in there. Because actually, now that I think of, uh, most of the cafes and bars, they don't really like when people stay there without consuming, but I guess Starbucks pleases to have their customers in there studying, reading, hanging out with friends because they know if they stay longer, they will buy more drinks and more food. So I think that's clever of, of them. But enough with this deco Starbucks decoration, Starbucks's decoration review, okay? Uh, but yeah, like I said, everything will be country feature. Uh, uh, it will, uh, it will be country then. So yeah. Oh, by the way, those uh, wood uh, railings over there, frieses, free princes. I don't know how to say it. I'm not um, an English, a native English speaker, as you, as you may notice. <laughs> so yeah, those things. I actually got the idea to use them because this was after I did the 50/50 challenge with Simmer Nick, Nick Simmer, Simmer Nick. Oh my God, this is ridiculous I feel ashamed I'm so sorry Nick I'm just going to call you Nick it doesn't seem that I work with you I'm so sorry Simon Nick Simon Nick yeah that's your name I'm so sorry I'm really bad I'm just like Dory um, oh my god I'm I feel ashamed now I'm so sorry please don't be mad at me Nick please don't be mad at me, at me. Uh, by the way I'm gonna give Nick a shout out um, is going to be on the description box below um, as long with my socials the gallery this will be this is on the gallery already um, you can search it by oh my dears and this is going to be there um, this house has like this huge kitchen it has a large eating area and it also has an outside eating area uh, it has like a leisure, leisure, leisure part near the bar over there, and on the top you have on. I mean, uh, as you can see, this build has like kind of two wings. The left one, which is the bigger and the bulky, the more bulky one, and the other one, which is the smaller. Both of them have staircases going up. They have two stories. Um, so in the left one in the bigger section of it you have like the dining area and on the upstairs you have the bathroom i decided to create a laundry room because in my head it made sense since this is a bed and breakfast so the waitresses can actually uh do the sheets um laundry and so on so on and on the other side um, we have the rooms and a leisure area, so your sims can be there reading a book, sitting in front of the fireplace. Oh my god, this is so cozy and I'm going to be really honest. This would be a bed, bed and breakfast that I would totally use 10 out of 10 uh, if I went on vacation with anyone to another country. Actually, um, I did use a, a reference image um, and I didn't think, I didn't think about that. But then I showed this to a friend of mine and they said, okay, this looks some kind of an hacienda, maybe because it's orange and white and that's the most colors you see in Mexico, I guess. At least when I watched the movie Coco, that was the predominant colors like oranges, green, green, green colors, green tones, whatever. And they said this would actually look some West Virginia, Virginia builds. And I must say that I went to do a, a search about West Virginia's houses and I must say they kind of look alike. Yes, they do. Um, and yeah, that I, I think I don't have to, I don't 
uh, need to add anything else about the build. But speaking on vacations, I'm so excited for October. I'm going to have my first vacations ever uh, after start working for what three months. I'm already uh, I'm about three months uh, old on my company already and I must say this is a really pretty chill job and I'm really liking it so far yes it is tiring it's uh, it's not um, for being a, a work a, a job that I spend eight hours sitting in front of a computer that is less tiring I must say you I must say that to you but I must say that uh, sometimes I don't have anything else to do so I'm able to watch streams and go on Facebook and do whatever I want. I did window shopping while I was working on Amazon and on eBay. Okay, so yeah, sometimes I have a lot of free work, spare, wor uh, spare time uh, when I'm working. Um, yeah, um, so I have some other things planned for this channel. I think I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to be a regular thing, but I have an idea for a build. Uh, I got inspired by my friend Sam. Hello Sam, if you're watching. Uh, she did um, a building with the new um, stuff that came with the la latest update, which is a little bit of Caribbean styled themed uh, furniture so um, she did a, a build and I got a little bit inspired I got the urge to do a tropical um, inspired build and I did some print print test Pinterest I'm sorry search and I actually found found something that I could I could actually pull off and use the new objects um, and yeah I'm also thinking about doing my own challenge. I have a solid idea, but I still have to polish it because I don't want to make it um, too difficult and I want everyone to uh, join the challenge and I know that everyone does not have the whole expansion packs like me, so yeah, I still need to think about that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to be this um, like every single week I'm gonna try to upload every single week a video I can promise you anything but since I could do this I think I can do the rest of the builds that I still have to upload and yeah um, I don't really have anything else to say uh, I hope you like my video don't forget to follow me on my socials go check my Twitch channel Follow me on Twitter because I do upload a lot of work in progresses, work in progresses, works in progress, um, screenshots over there. I do uh, speak about of content that I'm doing on my Twitch channel. And yeah, um, don't forget also to follow me on, gal on my gallery and if you have the curiosity of knowing who I am and what I do uh, during my spare time, which is not that much of a spare time, uh, but yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. So I hope you like this build, like I said, I'm really proud of it. Um, I think it's a really cute build and I think I could put it, pull it off since I struggle with uh, square building. So yeah thank you so much for watching and i see you next time bye bye